What's going on guys, Apple World here and welcome back to the Why You Need series, the series where I convince you or of course try to convince you for you to get a certain product or a certain service surrounding the world of Apple. Today, today is the day for the Why You Need an iPod Touch in 2018. I know it can sound like, why the heck do I need an iPod Touch? The iPod Touch is really focused to a certain target audience. So it might not be for everybody, but there's definitely a lot of people that need an iPod Touch. So last week I was searching the web for used Apple products and I found this. A 100 euro iPod Touch, which is of course around $110. It's crazy cheap and I wanted to make this video. So anyways, this is why you need an iPod Touch. So we always start the episodes on the Why You Need series with this. Who is this product for? Who is the iPod Touch for? First off, the age. The iPod Touch is so focused on a target audience with a certain age. It's of course for people. There's, I mean, of course, anybody can get an iPod Touch, but it's specifically focused on people, on users, especially on kids who can't, first off, who can't afford an iPhone and want to go experience iOS. The iPod Touch is great for that. It's smooth. And we're gonna go ahead and talk about the camera and the speed in just a second. And also, just kids or people who, for example, their parents, they don't let them have a phone. So they still want to uh, have a device to game on, to surf the web, and to do all that stuff. But of course, their parents don't let them have an actual phone. So the iPod Touch is perfect for that. If you are watching this and your parents are not letting you get an iPhone, get an iPod Touch. It does everything that your iPhone does, of course, except 3D Touch and a bunch of other stuff that, of course, that's why the iPhone is the iPhone. If you already own an iPhone, I can understand how the iPod Touch, it's just not worth it and it's pointless. I mean, you can get it, of course, maybe you just wanted to play music, but of course your iPhone can do that as well. But if you want a separate device to do certain things, to just put music on, as I said, you can do it, but once again, it's not really worth it. So anyways, the iPod Touch has an A8 chips to, of course, play games, eight megapixel camera, a lightning port, a headphone jack, a beautiful thin design, and iOS. So what can an iPod Touch do? Well, first off, the iPod Touch is of course an iPod. So an iPod can of course play music. So you can store thousands of songs and albums straight in your pocket. You can of course stream Apple Music, or if you're one of those people, you can, you can use Spotify. And if you have AirPods, they can of course connect to your iPod Touch. You can also play games on your iPod. Games such as Subway Surfer run really smoothly on the iPod. The only thing that bothers me is I guess the four inch screen because while well, I'm kind of used to this really big guy, I'm used to gaming on this thing, which is just bigger than my freaking face. But otherwise, it's great. It's small, but it's good. The camera, the camera on the iPod Touch isn't the best, but it definitely isn't the worst either. You still have burst modes, HDR, exposure control, HD video, and much more. Here's some photos I took with the iPod Touch, and here's a photo of Apple. And if you're new to my channel, my dog's name is Apple. Um, do you? Do you have a problem with that? You wanna fight me, bro? The contrast isn't the best. The photo is not really that saturated, but it's actually not that bad overall. The whites are decently bright and the blacks are definitely black. So anyways, let's not forget that the iPod has iMessage, FaceTime, Safari, email, and the App Store. Yeah, the App Store, which has access to millions and millions of apps and games that of course you can download on your iPod Touch. So basically the iPod Touch can do everything that an iPhone can do, except you can't call people. I mean, technically you can if you connect to Wi-Fi and then if you FaceTime audio, but of course you can't technically call people with your iPod Touch. So anyways, concluding the video, do you need an iPod Touch in 2018? Definitely yes, and of course, for certain people. If you're the person, as I said in the beginning of the video, if your parents don't let you have an iPhone, it's great. You have everything your, that your iPhone can do, except you can't call people, as I said. Also, if you don't have enough money to spend on an iPhone and you still wanna experience iOS, how it is, Go, go ahead and get an iPod Touch, it's great. If you simply want an iPod to simply listen to music and maybe just leave the iPod at home connected to some speakers and you simply have to press play every time, maybe just find your use for an iPod, it's really cheap. I mean, this thing literally cost me 100 euros, which is super, super cheap. So there you have it. Do you need an iPod? Yes, maybe depending on what person you are. Definitely, I don't need an iPod because of course I own an iPhone and I have my HomePod. So if I want to access to music, I have my HomePod 
and my iPhone. So me personally, I do not need an iPod, but I'm sure there's plenty of people that do need an iPod, and especially if you're a kid or if you're just really young. The iPod Touch is fast. You've got music, the App Store, games, music, everything. Everything that the iPhone can do, the iPod Touch can, mostly. So anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you were considering into purchasing an iPod Touch, let me know in the comments down below if I convinced you. If you already had an iPhone, don't go commenting down there and be like, this video is pointless. It was so lame. Why would I need an iPod Touch? Well, I mean, if you have an iPhone, once again, what is the point of an iPod Touch? This video is dedicated for people who are thinking on getting an iPod Touch. Same with all the other episodes on the Why You Need series, which by the way, they will all of course be linked down below. The Why You Need a HomePod, the Why You Need an Apple Watch, the Why You Need an uh, Apple Pencil. Everything is of course linked down below. So yeah, don't forget to do all that stuff. There's literally six days for the keynote. I am so hyped. Hope you are too. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.